know, when I first met the Retro team, I knew that they were the ones that I was going to want to have to, to create Metroid. So I've actually, from the very initial stages of this project, been directly involved as producer. Uh, and actually at EAD in Japan, we have uh, 23 staff members who are almost kind of half directing the game in cooperation with Retro Studios. So our level of involvement is very, very high in the project. So I first met the, uh, the team from uh, that is now Retro Studios probably about three years ago now. And uh, it was when I first met them and saw their talents uh, with art and graphics and, uh, and their real their game making talents that I really got interested again in, in creating a Metroid game. And, uh, but they actually had, to, because they had several other projects going on at the same time, it took some time to, uh, to get the projects up and running. So we've been working on this, I think, for about two and a half years now, which has been quite a long time, and a lot of that was related to the challenges of the multiple projects. So I'm really happy to be able to have this really great collaboration with uh, Retro Studios and some of our planning people at Nintendo in Japan, and, uh, and really work together and come up with something that's, uh, that's come out as well as Metroid has. Um, actually, the, uh, the team that is working on Metroid, these are huge, huge Metroid fans that are making this game. And so uh, we think the game's going to end up being uh, very similar in style to, uh, to Super Metroid. Yeah, we've added the scan visors and things like that, new weapons. But, uh, but really, I think it's going to be, you know, it is going to be this idea of still having the freedom to come back and, and try new things later. So I think you're going to find that it is going to have a very similar feel. Well, well, first of all, I think that uh, the Japanese Metroid fans will think it's a very cool game. And I know that a lot of people you know, expressed quite a bit of concern when they learned that uh, Metroid, which had always been a jumping uh, 2D side-scrolling game, was going into a first-person perspective. And they were all worried that this would become a first-person shooter. But, uh, but really what I think the key element of, that Metroid games has and, and will remain being is the idea of exploration. And so really what the conclusion that we came to was that for in exploring this very realistic looking world in outer space, the best perspective for doing that is really going to be a first person perspective. And uh, one of the most difficult things of this project has been the work ball. And myself being a uh, industrial designer, I was always, you know, it really bothered me how a person could roll up into a ball like that. But, <laughs> you know, exactly, you know, what is that suit made of anyway? But uh, we thought we'd give it a try and see if we couldn't at least make it look good. And, and I'm actually, you know, that's one of the things that continues to surprise me about games is you can take something like that and even in this realistic world, have it come across and look really good and, and flow really smoothly. And I think really that the, uh, the controls, uh, not only for Samus, but uh, I mean, I think Samus and, and Mario and Zelda, they all, they, can, they have a very similar control to them. And I think that when you play them all on the GameCube controller, you're going to get kind of the same feeling out of those games when you're controlling them. And uh, I mean, so for instance, when you press the L button in these games, the camera's always going to zoom in behind you and you can hold the L button down and use the control stick and you can do either some, uh, some sideways walking or some strafing. And uh, although this is slightly different, uh, most of the games you can hold down the R button and move the control stick in for a free look. And as you can see in the bottom left and bottom right corners of the screen, there are some kind of signs down there that are in the shape of uh, a plus down there. And this one on the left here is controlled by the plus control pad on the Nintendo GameCube controller. So it's with the plus control pad that uh, you're able to swip, swap between uh, Samus's different visors. And so one of the biggest elements of this game is to kind of explore the areas and scan different objects to obtain information. And so then with the L button, you can lock on to targets there, and, uh, and that will actually you know, make it easier for you to target uh, enemies and objects in the uh, environment.